Hi, my name is Kyle Miller. I'm an Enterprise Solutions Engineer at DJI, and today we're really excited to be able to install the new DJI Dock 3 on the Layton construction site. I'm Austin Lay with Layton Construction, Senior VDC Manager. I oversee Reality Capture Technologies for the company, and we're here on site today in Salt Lake City, testing some of the new technology that DJI is putting out uh, for the construction world. Really unique is we're taking an older building that's been standing for a long time. We're demoing parts of it, re, uh, retrofitting it, and adding to it. So traditionally drones have been, I would say we started you know, with the crawl run type method, right? It was simply just snapping a photo from an angle to give to, to a project uh, manager, to, to a project executive who wanted to maybe show an owner status of his project. As technology grew and as different uh, technology you know, pieces of software came on board, we started mapping missions, we started doing videos, we started doing photos, some 360 panorama photos. As that grew, the, the demand, the need, the questions were more asked from our teams, what more can we do with this technology? And so then that came vertical capture, which is something that can be very complex on a job site. There's uh, cranes around, there's scaffolding, there's people, and so, being able to trust the technology uh, is a little nerve wracking at times because you don't want that drone to hit somebody or to fall out of the air. And so the stuff that DJI has come out with has given us the confidence that we can fly around a building and know that the safety will be uh, there. With the new Smart 3D Capture, we can now easily automate capture of a very complex vertical job site. That's something that we haven't been able to do with previous drone models as well as previous drones within docks. So this is the first drone and the first dock solution that's gonna be able to help automate those 3D captures. When we're talking about data, that's the most important part of what we're doing here. If we don't have solid data to go off of, then what we're doing is really wasting a lot of time. And so the, the confidence that we have in these drones, especially the new Matrice 4D, is a lot higher than we've ever had before. And that's everything from an earthwork to some cut fill analysis. So we build anywhere from very cold climates like here in Salt Lake to down in Phoenix, Arizona, where it's 110, 115. In 118 degree weather, uh, the missions were flown every day, every morning, every afternoon. No problems at all with those missions. The drone flew perfectly fine, cooled the drone off as needed. The battery charged just, just like it was supposed to. We're seeing projects capture almost at a 5x time what they were capturing before. It's because they're able to do it so frequently at a push of a button and they're able to, you know, only have people out there observing it as they're flying it around. It takes less time. The dock actually flies a little quicker uh, than what the old drones do. And so to be able to capture all that in a quick and meaningful way and also to have the data with, within a few hours is crucial. So we fly it, we upload it, all that's done without human interaction, other than clicking the button to fly the drone. The upload happens, the processing happens in the background, and then we have the nice map, the model, the photos all ready to go. And so the, with all that combined, we're able to take and do that multiple times throughout the day and have that much more data. And no one's ever complained about having too much data. Matrice 4D and the Dock 3, we can now automate mission capture so that clients like Layton get all of the valuable data they need to make the important decisions.